Steve, this is the first chance we've had to talk since the conference championship meet, but congratulations on a great performance by our team, uh, both the men and the women. The men winning the conference title, the women a, a strong third, just a couple of points out of second place. Yeah. Uh, take us back through that meet from your perspective as a head coach. It was an amazing meet for us and um, really satisfying. You know, the team worked really hard all year long and to see their hard work pay off like that, uh, it was just an electric meet. We really got on a roll and people started feeding off of each other and it was exciting. Um, I just, I was thrilled for them. We had best times all over the place. Um, you know, practically everything we swam was was best times or season best. I think four out of every five swims was was a lifetime best time. So uh, we were really on fire, and uh, and it was fun to be a part of. You know, to to sit back and, and see people having a good time. It was really good. So I'm I'm proud of my kids. When you see swimmers like Wes and Jackie continue every year to do as well as they've done and put up lifetime best times when their lifetime best were already really fast uh, what does that say about their quality of as swimmers their quality as trainers and what they bring to the team uh, just you know Jackie and Wes both um, and and they represent I would say the majority of our team just really quality people you know a very high character to a person, everybody has an incredible work ethic. Uh, they're very committed to what they do. You know, it's 20 plus hours a week of, of you know, training and, and weightlifting and swimming and, um, you know, and, and yeah, I think it's a testimony to, to um, their commitment to their sport, you know, because they, even in the off season, they're working hard and they all want to get better and it's very team oriented and, you um, you know, we have some people that are dropping seconds and others that are, are trying to scratch out tenths of a second. Um, but either way, they're all trying to improve, and that's across the board. And um, So that's fun. It's fun as a coach when you have people that are in the water for the right reasons. Not because they have to be in the water, but because they want to be in the water. And um, So for me, it's, it's fun to show up and, and coach them. And now the season's not over. We're waiting to hear about... Uh, how many folks we get to take to the Division Three National Championships next month. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the official announcements won't come until later this week, but how do things look in terms of who we might get to go to that meet? Well, we had, um, we had uh, nine people make provisional cuts, B cuts, and when you make a B cut, you're not automatically in, uh, but you're considered, and they compare you against the rest of the country. Generally speaking, you know, anywhere from 16 to, you know, 25, 26 swimmers are going to make it in an event. And, and usually it's, it lands somewhere between that, you know, 17 to 21 swimmer spots. Um, and so you look at the top times list and, and you make some predictions, I guess. Uh, we'll know later this week, probably on Wednesday, uh, the official list will come out. But right now we look pretty good. Um, you know, we've all the times have been been put in so the raw list is there and uh, we've got a lot of people that are in the top 16 you know i would say patrick and jason are in on their backstrokes wes got in on his backstrokes and i am uh, so he's definitely into the meet uh, i think evan is is most likely into the meet too um, you know right now we're we're waiting to see if jackie gets in uh, for her backstroke her two backstroke was a conference record and it's right on the bubble right now she's 18th in the country so she might get in might not we'll have to wait and see and same thing with our medley relay uh, our medley relay uh, as far as I can tell I think we're 16th um, and normally they take 16 relays so we'll find out on that on Wednesday and if that's the case then Trevor Case will get in and, and that'll be good for us because then we'll have a breaststroker going to the national meet and that'll help our all of our relays and stuff and so that's what it looks like uh, you know I'm hopeful for five men and, and one woman